So my friends, the cavern should be straight in front of me. If we look at the map and zoom in a bit, we have it here. So I will take care of this one. And then we should be just a couple of minutes away from it. Let's take one of these. Stay outside and do a little bit of. No, I can't do any ranged attacks. Okay, that's fine. We don't have so little. Uh, we have full health, so it's fine. It's fine. A few more hits and one more, and he's down. Okay, let's continue here. see up here I believe and she should be here nice do we need to kill you guys yeah Azura is my shield you foul creatures Start with you, you're almost out of hell. Yep, nice. Let's continue with you. You're dead. Last one. I couldn't block that one unfortunately, but it's fine. And down. And level up. Oh nice. Thank you for aiding me. But I sense you came for a different Whoa, that's a lot of rewards. Choose one. Okay, so... I don't really care so much. Shield... Bow... We haven't used any stuffs. So... Let's take this one. It's full in my inventory, of course it is. Okay, ah, uh, let's go. No, sorry. Uh, uh, wait, inventory. Okay, so we have no particular armor here. This one we can equip, yes. This one we can destroy, yes. And now, hopefully. Flame. Yes. And we will put on Magicka. And let us... Hey, where did you go? She went inside. Let's do that V2. And see if we can find her. Oh, nice. Look at that. Heaven of the Incarnate. An outland? Surely there must be another way. No, my lady, of course not. I'll do as you ask. Come here, outlander. We I am here. Talk. Let's talk. It feels strange to talk to an outlander in such a sacred place, but the Queen of the Night Sky insists. I need to render judgment on an important claim, and she says you can help me reach the correct decision. This is about Jadala and uh, the Nareverain, Na Na right? Words of truth from the mouth of an outlander. Remarkable. The Red Exiles and a few others believe that Chodala is the Nerevarian. He's convinced them, but not me. I came here to consider my options. I fear a bloodbath if I oppose his claim. 
Isn't there a way to prove he's not the Nerevarena? Perhaps, but I must remain impartial. If someone else reveals the flaws in Chodala's claims by comparing him to the failed incarnates, that might do the trick. The failed incarnates? We thought the incarnates were possessed by the spirit of Nerevar. But each had a critical flaw that made them destined to fail to fulfill the prophecy. Their spirits reside here. Yes, you should speak to the incarnates. I see Azura's wisdom now. How do I talk to the spirits of the incarnates? Take this pouch of blessed grave dust. Sprinkle a pinch upon the bones of the incarnates to call forth their spirits. Return to Aldrin after you have learned all you can. Perhaps we can curb Chodala's ambitions before they lead us to war. Okay. We need knowledge to defeat Chodala Outlander. Listen well to what the failed incarnates have to say. So we have three of them to talk to, but all of them are actually in the same room, so let's do that. Once I was the hope of my people, but then my claim was proven false. Now I wait, and I hope for the Nerevarian's return. State your question, Outlander, and I shall do as Azura urges. They decided you weren't a Nerevarian. Why? To fulfill the prophecy, I followed a path of blood and war. In the end, my path became a road that led nowhere, and I was cast down from my lofty spot. Take my scroll, and help the wise woman understand the futility of a senseless war. Okay, we have one over here. Let's talk to you. Nerevarin remains a promise unfulfilled, and I am as guilty of prideful posturing as every other failed incarnate that occupies this hall. Ask your question and let's be done with this outlander. What ended your quest to become the Nerevarin? The Nerevarin must listen as well as proclaim. I refuse to accept wise counsel led to the doom of my tribe and the end of my quest to embody the spirit of Nervar. Take my scroll and remind the wise woman that wisdom ignored is ignorance. Last one is over here. We are the failed incarnates, the Ashland who proudly proclaimed themselves to be the Nerevarian, but were found wanting. The Lady of Dawn and Dusk urged us to cooperate. So ask your question, Outlander. What flaw made you fail to fulfill the prophecy? Take my scroll and help the wise woman see the lie of unbridled power. I thought myself the reborn Nerevar, for I was the strongest, most powerful warrior in all the land. But power alone won't save my people. In the end, it couldn't even save me. Mortal, let us speak. I foresaw your usefulness before you even set foot in Vardenfell. Now comes a test that will challenge your ability to separate truth from lies. You must convince the tribes that Chodala is not the Nerevarian. I communed with the incarnates, just as the wise woman commanded them. Doversi's wisdom outshines most other mortals. She recognizes the futility of Chodala's claim. If she rebuffs him, however, the tribes will turn on each other, and blood will flow. The staff, Sunra, it makes Chodala confident, reckless. The staff is the source of Chodala's power. Your instincts 
served you well. Chotala's path took a dark turn. However, my sight clouds when I look too closely. So Thessil built Sunara, but he did not create it with this vile purpose in mind. You must act on my behalf and vivex. I will do what you ask. Then go. Return to Aldrun and help the wise woman reveal the falsehood of Chodala's claim. And let Saren assist you. She is my champion and a trusted friend of all Ashlanders. Okay, let's keep talking to her for now. Let's go out and go back all the way here. So that we can fill this episode with as much content as we can. This is going to be the last one in the series. Uh, I have about, I don't know, 30 minutes left or something to um, that I can play today. Not sure I will be able to upload uh, all of my episodes that I recorded today. But, worst case scenario, I will upload this tomorrow. Uh, I will try tomorrow to open the Elder Scrolls Online and see if I still have access to it without paying for it, but I do not believe that I... let's go straight up here... that I can. So I take it for granted that this is the last episode in this series. Unfortunately, I think this will be number 15. Not entirely sure, but I believe so. Um, unfortunately, I don't really like... Where are you? Here you are. I don't really like having playlists that are less than 20 videos long. This one will be, unfortunately, but sometimes that happens. Let's talk to her, see what she has to say. The wise woman returned from the cavern of the incarnate and went right into Scar to meet with the tribes. Chodal is in there too, about to be named in Nerevarine. Tell me you came back with something to stop my brother's rise to power. I spoke to some of the incarnates, and they gave me these scrolls. Ah, uh, of course. Use the tales of the failed incarnates to counter Chodala's arguments. That's brilliant. Well, except for one problem. Problem? An outlander has no status in the council. The Ashlanders won't listen to a word you say. Someone else has to present the arguments. Someone they trust. I suppose that means I have to challenge my brother. With your help, of course. How can I help you if I can't talk during the council? Alright, let's go dispute your brother's claim. Let's ask the first one. You spoke to the incarnates, not me. I'm familiar with their stories, but I'll need you to help me choose the appropriate argument to counter each of Chodala's claims. I hate opposing my brother in this. I just don't see another way. When should I give you Incarnate Ranso scroll? Incarnate Ranso was strong and powerful. He thought that by strength alone, he could unite the Ashlanders. He failed. When Chodala proclaims his power, that's when we'll refer to this scroll's sad tale. When should I give you Incarnate Raduri's, uh, Aduri's scroll? Incarnate Aduri was a champion of my people. She defended us against great threats. But when she grew to love war for war's sake, she proved she wasn't the Nerevarine. When Chodala proclaims that war is the answer, hand me this scroll. And when should I give you Incarnate Danat's scroll? Incarnate Danat thought his way was the best way. He rejected the counsel of the wise women and the Ashkans, something Nerevar would never do. When Chodala proclaims he knows better than anyone, we'll use this scroll. Okay. Meet Let's do this. Straight Must forward. Continue this boss. 
It's obvious that I'm the Mera Baron. Someone has stepped forward to challenge your claim, Chodala. Seren, I'm disappointed in you, dear sister. Enough. I shall hear your arguments and render my decision. Even the Outlander can see that I'm the most powerful Ash Khan. My strength alone proves that I am the Nerevarin. Okay. Chodala puts forth his great strength as proof of his claim. Give me the scroll that discounts such a trait for the Nerevarin. Uh, so... It was... Ranzo's scroll, yes, I believe. That's a sound argument. Incarnate, appear! As a warrior and as an Ashcon, I was the most powerful of my age. But for all my strength, I failed my people. Don't follow my example. The Faithless Houses dare to threaten our land, but we shall meet them in battle, and I will lead us to victory. This is more nerve-wracking than I anticipated. Which scroll do you recommend to counter this argument? And it was um, a jury, I think. That makes sense. I'll try that. Incarnate, appear! I thought the path to the Nerevarian was a path of blood and battle, but my love of war was my undoing. War is not the way. These failed incarnates prove nothing! I need no counsel but my own, as befits my status as the Nerevarian. I think it's working. One more strong assertion, and that should do it. Okay, let's do the lost scroll. Of course. Let's see what happens. Incarnate, appear! I refuse to accept the counsel of the wise women and the Ashkans. I thought I knew best, but I knew nothing. That is not the way of the Nerebari. Seren and the Outlander, their arguments have merit. Chodala, we deny your claim. You are not the Nerebari. This proves nothing! Look how the staff protects me! I am the Nerebari! Red exiles, slay the unbelievers! No! Ooh, <laughs> So let's take care of these guys. His claim is disproven. Oh, I'm stuck. Wait a second. So it's only two left, I believe. Okay, one left. My bad. And zero left. No, it's more of them. Where are you guys? Up here. Nice. Let's take this one, speed it up a little bit. And he's down, and you left. We'll be dead in a second. Okay, any more? Yep. Actually, we should try a little bit of the other ones. Oh, nice. I should get out of there. So is this, is this a boss? Get out of there for a second. And let's take a summon. She's uh, confused. Let's take a little bit of extra damage. She's confused again. Phew, 
few more hits. And she is... Ouch, let's get out of there. Oh, it's fine. No worries whatsoever. She's down. Let's take this one. And we are full. Let's see if we can... Go to inventory. Do we have anything that is... I think we have... This is 1613. Is this better? Oh, it's way better. Okay, so... Sorry, wrong one. Let's go here. We will go to inventory. Destroy this one. We still... Okay, we still can't take it. Oh, that's bugging. Okay, so... Actually, it was a long time since we saw our head. I wouldn't mind actually keeping this until the end of the episode. Let's see, where do we need to go? But I still want... Wait, I can pick it up. Uh, let's go to supplies. Destroy. Destroy. Can I pick it up now? Yeah, I could. Nice. Okay. So a short loading screen and while we are waiting for that I will just fill up my glass of water a little bit. I did forget about it between our recording sessions. And I am starting to be dry as a desert. Perfect timing. Where are you? Straight forward. Almost. Open my hut and get my healers. Now. Right away, wise woman. Oh, it's war. Um. Mortal, I would have words with you. Okay, can we talk to you? Chodala has been revealed as a failed Nerevarian, but that hasn't dissuaded him from his reckless course of action. As long as he wields the staff, he shall be unstoppable. So what should we do? Time is against you, mortal. Even now, Vivek, that pompous usurper, grows increasingly weaker. As much as I deplore him, Vivek cannot fall to Chodala's vile magic. There's another power. One Put my finger on. There must be something I can do. Return to Vivek City. Do what you can to aid Vivek. And pay heed to my faithful vessel, Sally. I name her Champion of the Moon and Star. She will play a pivotal role in ending her brother's march toward godhood. If she survives. I'll return to Vivek City. That was... exhilarating. That was... glorious. Lady Azura's presence filled me with such... wonder. She actually spoke through me. I heard everything she said, and I felt her sense of urgency. You need to return to Vivek City immediately. She said... Uh, she's, she, sorry about that. She said you were her champion, uh, and that I would need your help. And help you I shall. Return to Vivek City, while I track down my brother and his damnable staff. With the Ashlanders against him, he won't have many options. After I locate him, I'll meet you, and we can find a way to break through Chodala's defenses. Okay, so... Speeding it up a little bit more, let's go... Here. Yeah. 
so I will finish this episode in maximum 15 minutes and this will be the last episode in this series I hope that now when we go back to Vivek City we will talk to Lord Vivek and we will finish off this quest let's see can we jump over we can nice and then uh, we will finish off this episode so that we do not have much else <laughs> to do for this particular quest line. I don't like the looks of that sky. Pull yourself together. You're a buoyant armager for the next day. As a god weakens, so too does his city suffer. I know my people grow fearful. Even the arch cannon is distressed. But the energy that remains to me holds the moonlit in the sky. At least for now. So what news does my eyes and ears bring to me? We discredited, we discredited Jodala as the Nereverin, but he escaped with Sunarach. How this upstart Ashlander learned to attune Sotha Seal's tool confounds my understanding. And he dares use my power? Still, your help is appreciated. Every strike and parry takes us one step closer to ending this threat. Restoring my vitality. Okay, so let's complete the quest, which is exactly what I hoped would happen. Let's talk to him again. Consult with the Arch Cannon to decide our next course of action. This Ashlander thief must be dealt with before my condition dooms my people. Now leave me. If my concentration wavers, Vardenfell is doomed. Okay, so we accomplished what we set out to do. We have completed the quest and I think this is actually a good way to end the episode and most likely the series. Um, just to take a couple of minutes to um, talk about what um, my, f my, my thoughts and feelings for this game. It's actually not that bad. Um, I feel that it's a l it's too many players running around and disturb disturbing, and it takes out my or it destroys my uh, concentration and immersion into the game. I don't like that at all. Uh, it's the same with Skyforge, and I don't I I highly disagree with that too. But in Skyforge it's less people, it seems to be less popular well out in the world, in the hub, in the Divine Oratory, it's a lot of people, but out on missions it's quite empty. And I would say it's the same in Path of Exile, a game that I would actually like to beat also before Path of Exile 2 comes, I think next year, I'm not entirely sure but I think so. Um, in the hubs you see a lot of people walking around but out in the world you're completely alone I like that that's okay that's okay but for me personally I do prefer single-player games I don't like playing with other people or seeing other people um, might perhaps try co-op with some friends in the future I don't know but um, mm, will I play this game will I buy Brother, will I buy this game and continue playing it? No, I wouldn't say I will. Um, it was decently entertaining for a couple of weeks. If it comes back uh, as a free trial, then I will uh, perhaps go back and continue playing it a bit more. But it's nothing more than that. So um, I did have a blast actually playing it. It was as I expected it to be, it was really fun to do. Uh, it's fully voiced, which I like a lot. Um, but yeah, um, do not look forward for any more episodes um, for this one. I will go back to the Outer Worlds tomorrow and I will go uh, to um, uh, 
uh, Skyforge a little bit, most likely during, I don't know, next week or something. We'll see, we'll see. Or perhaps weekend. Uh, it remains to be seen. But anyways, um, enough of me babbling about. Um, I thank you very much for joining me on the, this journey, even though we are far away, far away from um, completing this, uh, this game. At least we got a taste of it. I like the taste, but not enough for me to actually continue it because of all of those people running around and disturbing me. But anyways, um, with this view, my friends, I do thank you for watching. Take care, stay safe, and I will always see you in the future.